Hi everyone, it's me, Alex, and today I'm going to be showing you how to upload your own Roblox audio or sound on Roblox. So once you open Roblox, of course, you have to be signed into your profile right here. I'm already signed in. And then once you're here, you want to click on this create button right here on the top. I'm going to click on that. Oops, click on that. And then you might get a blue screen or a screen saying a Roblox Studio uh, to tell you to download it. But in the bottom, there might be a little button that says just continue without it. So you can go ahead and click on that, continue without it. And yeah, and then it'll take you here. So once on this little banner right here on the left hand side corner, you want to click on audio. And I've already uploaded an audio, these two, and I'm not going to upload one now, but I'm going to show you how everything works. So as you can see, audio uploads must be less than seven minutes and smaller than 19.5 megabytes. So make sure you want to keep that in mind. And so as you can see, it says find your MP3 file or OGG file. It cannot be anything else. It has to be those two. And then, of course, you click on uh, choose file and it'll open up the files on your computer and you can go ahead and choose it. So, so once you do that, you upload, you want to click on uh, audio name. So let's say our audio name is name. Of course, that's not true. So, and then once there, you click on upload and it'll be uploaded and it might appear right away down here, or it might not and might be reviewing, it might be re being reviewed by Roblox. So then you have to give it some time. So once you see this sign, that means it's up. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my audio. And as you can see, I can go ahead and play it now. So yeah, but as you can see right here on this banner right here, it says this item is currently not for sale. So that means you can play it and you are able to view it, but currently it's not a public on Roblox. So only you can use it. And something you want to keep in mind as well is that this number right here on the corner up yeah, here, that know. number is the your audio code or your auto, audio ID. So that's the one you'll use. Let's say you play Bloxburg and you want to put that. You click on add a sound and you'll put that ID. So maybe you want to copy it and paste and it. play it on your radio or on your car, whatever you're using on Roblox or whichever game. So that is your audio ID. This is something you want to keep in mind right here. That is your audio ID. But of course, if you want to set this audio public, you have to wait. So as you can see, I'm going to click on configure because since I just uploaded this, it's not public yet. If you ever need to switch the name, you'll go in configuration and it's right here. And genres, you can go ahead and change that. Add a description of your audio. And right here, sharing. As you can see right now, it's just public, uh, private. So that means only I can use this. And public, as you can see, audio files cannot be made public at this time. Please check back in a later date. And as you can see, I try to select the bubble. It just doesn't let me. That's because since I just uploaded this, no one can view it yet. And as you can see right here as well, distribute marketplace, enabling marketplace is unavailable at this time. Please check back later on Roblox and then you can go ahead and check it out. So yes, you need to be, uh, it'll take a few days. So then in a few days you can check back here and you can click on public and everyone can upload it or hear it now. And maybe you can sell it for Robux, I think. I'm not quite sure, but I think you can. So you can see. And then if you want to archive it, you don't want it no longer on Roblox, you click on this button and it'll, no one can access it anymore, not even you. So if you try to enter your song ID, it's not going to work for you either. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.